Most colleges have students fill out a professor evaluation form at the end of each semester. But sometimes those evaluations aren't made available to the public. So here's a quick solution. It's called RateMyProfessor.com. I'm Federico Perez reporting for QTV. RateMyProfessor.com is a website that gives students the opportunity to comment anonymously on classes and teachers. Started in 1999, the site now has nearly a half million evaluations for more than 113,000 professors at 2,401 colleges and universities in the United States and Canada, with 65% of the ratings are positive. Broadcast Institute, Doug Bishop had to say this on the following site. It's a pretty good site, depends on if people are being honest or not. Um, I've went to the site a couple of times, I've, I've voiced my own opinion about it, and it could be a reliable source for people to choose and pick their um, the professor or the teachers that they want to take. But some of them are biased because uh, some people get, um, some of the teachers or whatever will get, get uh, they get uh, bad write-ups, bad uh, people were put in comments because they don't really understand the uh, process that some of these teachers have, the, the, the way their curriculum is. And um, unfortunately, they're not allowed to defend themselves on ratetheprofessor.com. But on the other hand, it is the honest opinion of students. I think it's a cool way of uh, you know, letting you, uh, your professors know how you feel about them, uh, give them a little rating, see how maybe, to let them know how they're doing in the class and how uh, other students feel about them. I mean, because if you don't like your professor and everyone doesn't like you as a professor, you're eventually not going to have uh, any classes. <laughs> Students can evaluate professors on easiness, helpfulness, clarity, and of course, hotness. Broadcasting professor Jim Gleason had this to say. Well, it's a, it's a normal process that we have to go through at the end of every semester when we pass out the actual official evaluations um, that are used to, to help decide for things like promotions or how you structure a class. Uh, the RateMyProfessor.com is more of an informal thing. I'm not sure that the students uh, would act any differently, you know, putting their opinions up on a website or not. As far as how I feel about it, I think it's, it's neat because it gives the students a chance to say what they want about their instructors. I don't know what I'm going to say. Then it's taken care of. You know, professor Hall had this to say. I think it's a good idea if the professors have a chance to see what the ratings are and um, knowing that they're going to be anonymous anyway at least to get an idea of how they're coming across to their students. I think as a communicator that would be really important. One more word of advice. Depending on how many students took the survey or if a student was better when he took the survey, they may be inaccurate and that this is really just for fun. I'm Federico Perez reporting for QTV.